Self-discipline is load of bullshit. You probably wasn't expecting to hear that from me considering I've been a big preacher of self-discipline for a long time. But the more I look into the studies in terms of willpower, self-discipline, and in regards to what really creates a long-lasting behavioral change, and at the same time, just really reflecting back on my life and the things that I've implemented by modeling the most successful people out there, the more I realize that self-discipline is a load of bullshit. So if you are struggling right now with disciplining yourself, pay close attention because there's this one change that you gotta make instead that will make everything easier. And you'll know why in a moment, because think about this, okay? Think about if you were to go to a hot country and it's sunny every single day, is there a slight chance, even if you're doing your absolute best to avoid the sun, that you eventually get tanned? Yes or no? Definitely, right? Now, what if you were to go to a slightly colder country where it's not sunny, maybe like London, <laughs> where it's kind of like cloudy every single day? Is there a slight chance when there is no sun every single day, right? Is there a slight chance you're gonna get a little bit lighter? Definitely. So what is it that's actually dictating how you physically change? Well, what that's dictated by is the environment. Most people who are trying to discipline themselves, they've already shot themselves in the foot. The reason why is your environment is not set up to cultivate a winner. You look at anybody that you look up to, you follow online, they've got a world-class environment. They've got support systems, they've got accountability, they've got mentors, they know what their forfeit is, what happens if they don't achieve that goal, they know what they're measuring. They've also got rid of the things in their environment that they don't want to have in their life. For example, if they're looking to lose weight, they're not gonna have piles upon piles of desserts in the fridge. If they are looking to be more productive or maybe start filming videos on YouTube, they're not gonna make all of the studio equipment just constantly hard to set up and take hours upon hours just to film a freaking video. No, they're gonna make everything easier done than said. Because the nature of human behavior is very simple. We tend to do what's the easiest for us. Most of our behavior, according to Harvard research, has shown is ran by a subconscious mind. It's habituated behavior that's repeating every single day. And right now, you're not conscious, you're not awake every single time you are going outside and maybe picking up that snack bar or whatever it may be. So it's important that you realize that you are currently in this hypnotic state. So if you don't awaken to that fact and you don't set your environment in your favor, you will forever, forever be losing. So what's the secret here? What's the one change you have to make? Change your environment. Yesterday, I was there on a call with my life coach and basically, he said to me, Tim, you know, you've been using stimulants, I, I see, you know, drinking coffee on some of the dates and so forth to really just perk yourself up. He said, I want you to quit. I said, well, firstly, it is strange. I, I told him that I got into this habit because oh, it only like literally happened. It seems like overnight because last year I was traveling a lot, speaking a lot as a result on one of the one of the days, because I was really, really jet lagged, I had a shot of an espresso, and as a result, I was just like, whoa, that felt good. And the next day, I ended up having another shot to do another speech, and before long, it turned into a habituated behavior. And basically, I, I basically said to him on the phone, okay, I'll quit. And he said, oh, I wanna put you on a recovery program. I'm like, recovery program what? I said, no thanks. He said, what do you mean? He said, I said, well, I've quit actual real drugs before, as in class C, class B, class A, you know, that's my past. And I told him, I realized over the years, what made the biggest difference was me just getting it out of the environment, the thing I'm keep on using, and at the same time, changing my friends, and at the same time, having somebody hold me accountable. So what I said to him was, hold me accountable. In a week from now, let's check in. And I'm gonna promise you right now, over the phone, that I'm definitely not gonna to touch any of it because as soon as I gump, go off this call, I'm gonna clear my entire cupboard with anything that's got caffeine, uh, coffee capsules, everything like that, supplements, you name it. And I chucked it all into the bin yesterday. And this is what I did 11 years ago to actually physically quit hardcore drugs. 
And if you look at what's really created the biggest amount of change in your life, for those of you who've ever gone through a big change, is the moment you've upgraded what you are surrounded by, who you're surrounded by. So you should be always looking at the ways you can optimize your environment. How can you make the things you want to do extremely easy? And I know for some of you, this is just something that you know already, but remember, knowing is not enough. Knowing and not doing is the same as not knowing. Today, optimize your environment, upgrade your environment. There are reasons why I've got anchors up on the wall. You can see a big poster here, follow your heart and take action. That's a reminder for me. You're one decision away from a totally different life. That's a reminder for me. Every single day I'm brainwashing myself, creating new anchors, optimizing environment. On the floor here, I've got a treadmill desk. I've got different ways that I'm gonna be increasing my performance because I've made everything easier done than said. You wanna make the things you don't wanna do hard, extremely hard. What does that mean? Firstly, get rid of everything. So if you are looking to, for example, lose weight, get rid of all of that junk. Just literally clear it out. Doesn't matter if you're gonna waste money by chucking into the bin, because in reality, it's gonna cost you more in the long run with medical bills. True? So realize that there's a long-term implications to the short-term thing that you're con constantly just justifying in your mind. It doesn't make any logical sense. It's not serving you right now. So get rid of everything that you know you'll be tempted by. So if you're addicted to your phone, well, the answer is simple. Downgrade. If you want to have extreme performance, you've got to do extreme things in your life, period. Self-discipline is hard because if you've got temptations in your environment, no matter how much willpower you've got physically or you've trained yourself up, eventually you're gonna cave in. And you don't need me to tell you that. My suggestion for you today, upgrade your environment, optimize your environment. That way it will cultivate a true winner and you are a winner deep inside. So let me know in the comments box below if you commit to upgrading your environment today, which means to check who you hang around with because remember, proximity is power. Who are you hanging around with? Who are the friends you're constantly checking in with? Because they are brainwashing you every single day with their narrative. The things that they tell you every single day, that's brainwashing you. What else do you have to get rid of? Tell me in the comments box below what you're gonna get rid of that, that's maybe tempting you to actually go and uh, do the thing that you don't wanna do. Tell me in the comments box below what you're gonna commit to in terms of optimizing your environment. Be sure to like this video if you like this video and share this video with a friend or loved one who's got to hear this message. And as always inside the folly heart, my friend, and take action and go live the life you're truly born to live. Speak to you soon.